Good day, my name is Joe Gerba. Today I'll be reviewing our new Jasper board game table from BoardGameTables.com. But first, here's a little montage of me building the table. So after putting up the table, I'm really enjoying this table. We got the walnut finish. We did splurge for the chairs. Uh, we didn't really have very good chairs. And so we got ones with cloth seats. And you know, to be honest, I know this isn't a chair review. These chairs are pretty nice. Um, we got uh, two cup holders for us. So when we play games, we can relax. Cup holders are pretty nice and also movable. Um, you know, at first, I, w I didn't know how I felt about how shallow the the gaming area is after seeing all these board game, you know, tables that I've, you know, just seen around. But I really like how shallow it is. It feels good to put your hands up here and kind of feel a little bit above the table so you can survey. Uh, right now, I've been playing Sworn, trying to get this campaign uh, wrapped up. And, you know, the, the play mat's nice. It's just a really nice table um you know it's really sturdy now i'm going to go into two negatives that i had really quick the one is the the legs uh, the the attachment points a little bit odd really only one screw and moving the table seems a little bit flimsy however once it's set this table is nice and sturdy and i do like that about it once you got it all set up and ready to go this table is sturdy, but I, I don't, the, you know, legs have a little gap in there that's just kind of a little bit odd. Uh, the second one is, while putting the panels in this board, they came with screws that have a little um, dome over the top, you know, they're not flat screws. Uh, I did go to Home Depot and get some, uh, some wood screws. Uh, I do recommend these. Uh, they're number eights at one inch with a flat top. The ones they give you are rounded tops, so you can feel them through this, uh, you know, through the little the topper. And they're a little bit too short. They're three quarters, so I'm not really sure why they provided those screws. It, you know, kind of seems like a little bit of an oversight. But um, one inch, number eight screws. If you're going to get the Jasper table, you're going to need to pick up some of these two to three bucks at local hardware store. But other than that, I like the topper that it comes on. This mat feels just great to roll on. You know, it, it fits in there just nice and perfectly right under the, uh, you know, the lip here. I like the recess. I'm very happy with this gaming table. Um, you know, we've only had it for a couple weeks now. Uh, I enjoy the cup holders. Everything just feels nice. Like I said, feels, uh, feels sturdy really gives some, uh, elevates the game. Now I will say, it, it, this is one of the cheaper tables you can buy. I think this one came in around 700 or so without the topper and then without the chair. So once you start adding all those other things, that's where it really starts to pile up. But I do think as a luxury board game item, this is an awesome table. Um, we're really having a good time on it. Like I said, trying to finish up Oathsworn. Uh, it's, a, it's taken up all the table, but man, picking up the cards feels nice. Rolling the dice just feels nice. Like I said, if you're looking for a budget gaming table, 
this is the one. Now I'm going to give another props to the website, to the company, you know, BoardGameTables.com. Uh, we ordered this on a, I don't know, a Wednesday night maybe, and you know, I, I wasn't sure when it would come in. And actually six days later, so you know, four or five working days, we got this table in. So I know there's a lot of companies that are kickstarted and everything like that. You know, you'll be waiting maybe a couple years to get your table. Six days and I started to set up this table and began playing. I didn't expect it, you know, shipping that fast, but man, am I happy uh, with, you know, the speed that we got this piece of furniture and we've been able to complete uh, this back room. So I really like this table. Um, yes, it may not be the most expensive. Yes, it may not have the, you know, the most amenities, but you know, from the, from the cup holder to the recess to the leaves uh, that you can put on top, you know, for the price, I'm not sure you could beat this. Once again, it's a luxury to have. You don't need this gaming table just in the back room here. I've been playing Osworn on a 3x3, and let me tell you, that was a little bit too small. So the playing area of this is probably about a 3x5 or so. With When you have the uh, the leaves on the top, it's even a little bit larger because you get a little bit more uh, overhang. So really like this table. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the in the comments below. Uh, like I said, legs a little bit odd, a little bit flimsy to move. When I move it, I may have to uh, take off the legs if we ever do move. And then the, the screws, a little bit of a letdown. But other than that, a well-crafted table for the for the price. And I'm, I'm just very happy with the quality. And I'm really looking forward to future gaming on this table. So... I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review, and like I said, if you have any comments or any questions on this table that I really didn't cover, uh, just leave them below, and until next time.